What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and as you can tell by the title of the video, we are trying to catch a live bobcat. <coughs> Austin's uncle's been having a bobcat just cause all kinds of disruption, killing a lot of his chickens and livestock. He needs us to catch it. Well, we've been talking about it, we came up with an idea, and now we're gonna put it to work. But first, we gotta go to Home Depot. We've been here so long, we've got drinks, We've been designing this whole trap in our heads and people walk by like, what are they talking about? That's how we roll. Austin, this better this better work. We got everything. We came in here just to like take a quick look. Next thing you know, <laughs> let's see how much this costs. I promise you if this, if you're watching this video, then it kind of worked. And if it kind of worked, we'll help you so you don't have to spend so much money. Okay, you guys, that's what we spent right <laughs> there. No, no, that's not it. That's not, okay, <laughs> right there, that's what it is. Now we go build. Dude, we're back at the house. Check out how cool that is. What they don't tell you is, it comes in a million pieces. So, as bad as I hate to say it, I wish Sarah was here because she would like put this thing together so fast. Babe, you look beautiful. We have your job right here. You can put it all together. And if all works out perfectly, they will be the same size. Perfect. Now, that's how tall our trap is gonna be. And the reason we want it this tall, we wanna make this a big trap. So when any game goes in there, they're like, oh yeah, this is cool. Crack! These are our four posts right there. Now we're gonna flip it over and repeat the process. I'm feeling pretty good about this, y'all. I am feeling pretty good about it. So we're framing this whole thing out. Reason is, we're gonna try to catch like a wild bobcat or a wild coyote. They're not gonna wanna be inside here. <laughs> so we're just reinforcing it as much as possible. Instead of just screwing right into it, now I'm gonna take a drill and countersink everything so we don't split any of the wood. So we've got the, the metal tucked down in between these two two by fours then we put the outside on and so you're pinching the metal in between the two by fours and you're pinching it down in between this one by four double trouble baby we've got both sides of the trap built now this is only going to be put here temporarily but i want it to lock in place have the whole trap really reinforced. This piece here is actually gonna get a, a hole drilled through it to create the trigger mechanism. This is gonna be part of our track. Then we put this up right here, just like that. And this is gonna be the other part of our track. Our door will run just like that. We have created a track right here. We secured it with a back panel. This is where our trigger is going to go. And this is our board or our door. It's also a board. This is what we call redneck ingenuity, folks. We've got the trap fairly well figured out. Now we're coming up with our trigger mechanism. Let me show you what we've got. As the door comes up like this, we've got a, there you go. 
Our arrow has a, a hole drilled through the back. Now we're gonna figure out a, a trigger mechanism that will then pull that out. Boom, we got them. We're gonna take a dowel like this and put it through here and make a rocker. So when he steps on this wood, he's gonna pull that arrow out. It's not like there's directions for this. This is just us coming up with an idea. Drop a thumbs up if you think it's gonna work. Leave a comment if you don't think it will work. Please don't leave a thumbs down because we're trying hard here. Once that cat comes walking in, or bobcat or whatever, once it comes in, we're gonna build this up so that there's just a little bit of play. Once that play happens, it's gonna set this trap off and it's gonna snatch that door out. Next thing you know, we got us a bobcat. So the trap's gonna go that away. Okay, that's secured. Dude, we are so on to something. This morning when Austin showed up to the house and we were gonna continue working, he's like, bro, we gotta use a rat trap as an accelerator. And I was thinking, I don't know if that's gonna work, but it's working. Now for the real test, you guys, I'm gonna pretend I'm a hungry bobcat. Hmm, wow, look at all this wonderful food in here. Seems like amazing. I'm gonna eat me a little live chicken and then I'm gonna walk up here and I'm gonna go like that and be like, what the frick just happened? Dude, what do you think, Austin? It worked. <laughs> <laughs> the rat trap accelerator did its job. And that happened so fast. I think if you startled the cat, he's gonna jump forward. Who knows? This is just more or less us having fun trying to figure something out and thanks for riding shotgun. We believe we have the trap finished. So we're gonna load it in the back of the truck, we're gonna take it to where we wanna set it, and then we'll show you everything we got. Hey, any of you boys seen a bobcat around there? Well, here's the scoop, ladies and gentlemen. See that right there? That's all from a bobcat. This family, they got some chickens that are like their pets. Well, every time they turn them out, they got a big bobcat comes in, snatches them up. Yesterday, he killed a chicken right here. And if you can only imagine, that's heartbreaking to a little kid. A lot of you guys know my little brother. He's a YouTuber named Blue Gabe. He had a chicken when we were kids named Henny Penny. You may think that's crazy, but he did. And something killed that chicken, and he was heartbroken for about three years. So. This has special meaning to me. Took a lot of work to build this thing. Now let's set it. This whole event has been a work in progress. Like, we've just been coming up th with things on the fly. Sat phone camera is what we need. Uh, where can we get one? Bass Pro. All right, you guys, while Rob's running the Bass Pro to get the cameras, I'm gonna get this trap set up. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put dirt in here and make it more believable. Maybe brush it in a little bit, nothing too crazy. And then I'm actually gonna hang a little attractor in the back with some bait, try and entice him to go in there. But we put it here in the shade so that, you know, when we do catch him, he's not in the sun, he's not hot. And then we're actually gonna put some water in there so when we catch him, you know, he has something to drink. And all we're doing here is just filling in this floor, making it look like part of its element, you know? I want to make sure that there's a uh, plenty of space underneath this here, this pan. And I don't want too much dirt on top of here because it's going to weigh down our, our trigger. Just kind of a dusting on top of it. Can't even tell that's a trap now. Now the other important thing right here in this door is you want to make sure that there's no rocks in here. I actually just got a little mud clot out of there. because This is where your door is going to come down. You don't want any rocks stopping that door, giving them anything to you know, pry out. Check this out. Got a Looney Tunes and Barnyard. And I tied both of these together. This is what you call a flag or a attractant. Tied with uh, some braid. And this is where I'm gonna use these feathers from the last chicken that he got. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna 
trying to tie these feathers. It's making like a like a dream catcher for bobcats. All right, so now that we got our little dream catcher built back here for curiosity, we're gonna bait the trap. And what we're gonna use is deer meat. Now I'm gonna put some feathers in there too, but you know a bobcat will eat some deer meat. Look at that. All right, next, I just cut a bunch of uh, palm fronds. And I'm trying to decide how well I wanna brush this thing in. All right, you guys, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bunch of feathers from the chicken that he killed. And I'm gonna take some hay from the chicken coop up there. And I'm gonna kind of make something else in here that makes it look like something that he's been targeting recently. He really loves these chickens. We're just gonna blend all this in. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take more feathers and just make me a trail all the way out. All right, so that's where he went through last night. If he comes through this afternoon or tonight or tomorrow or the next day, I reckon he'll see that. Check out what we got. We got a trail of feathers leading to some bait. I'm really, really impressed. It looks like it's sticking out, but in all honesty, there's chicken coops here. This is a natural scenario. We've got a trail camera right here that as soon as we catch one, or as soon as we have an animal in the area, this is gonna tell us that, that we've got action. As the animal comes in, Austin did a great job. He put in some feathers from a chicken that he's already killed covered it in dirt so that the that the bobcat or coyote or skunk ape or anything else that doesn't feel the wire on its feet so as the animal comes in he's going to walk in he's going to see he's got a big chunk of meat and a cd with a feather that's awesome and as soon as he comes up here he's just going to take and step on this once that happens the rat <clears throat> trap pulls our arrow out of the door and quickly and humanely, it's gonna be caught. Well, as you guys can see, we have uh, had a little bit of failure to communicate. We built the trap, we fooled the cat. He's been in there twice. Problem is, he hasn't tripped the trigger. Another bad piece of news is he killed another chicken. So, we've used what's left of that chicken to bait the trap again, and uh, we'll see what happens. Time is on our side, y'all. We're here. We're gonna win. All right, you guys. All we did was move the trap about 50 yards this way, right up against this road right here, because we think the bobcat kind of got bored of coming in the yard. So we just moved the trap, gave him something a little different again. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Well, 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 what started out as a mere idea actually worked. Last night, we got the pictures, we caught a bobcat. I called Mr. Curtis, he said he's in there. This is Austin's uncle, and these are his chickens. I mean, why are these chickens so important to you? So, well, we feed um, orphan children in the, at an orphanage in India with the eggs. We sell the eggs and we give the money to Orphanage. These chickens have a very good life. Now, they typically roam out around the yard and eat greens and scratch in the yard. But that bobcat, every time he would turn them out, he would kill the chickens. And so we came in, built a live trap, and you may wonder, why didn't you use a leg hole trap? Here in Florida, you have to have a special permit to use a leg hole trap, and we don't have that permit right now, although we are applying for it. So let's go take a look at what we caught. Well, there he is. Little rascal. I don't even want to walk up too close to him. Unbelievable. Now, here's the scoop. We had the trap just around the corner here, and we had the bobcat going in and out of the trap several times, but that's a homemade trap. We built that. And so we had a lot of failures. He wouldn't set it off. He would go in, he would come out, and finally, last, he lost interest in the trap. 
So Austin and his uncle, they moved the trap, changed the look, reset it, and we got him. Incredible. Trapping is a lifestyle. And to be able to trap a live bobcat is a true success. Around here, bobcats and coyotes have taken such a toll on our fawn population. They're brazen, they come right up in the yard, they attack yard dogs, cats, they eat chickens, you know, and in this case, he takes the money that he makes selling the eggs and gives to an orphanage in India. I know that sounds cliche like, uh, sure, but it's what he does. And so, it's one of them things, gotta take him out, part of life. Work like a charm, y'all. Rat trap, pulled the pin out, caught the bobcat. Lights out. For me, when you're trapping, once you've got the animal trapped, it's all about respect. We won, and it's part of property maintenance. He went from being an animal to food. Now we're gonna go back, we're gonna clean him. I'm actually gonna use the, the fur to make something really cool for Sarah, and then we're gonna eat the meat. Austin, anytime he traps a bobcat, he eats it, and uh, from what I hear, it's really good. I'm about to try it. All right, y'all, so we're out here on the dock. We're gonna skin this cat out. I'm actually gonna have something really nice made for Sarah using this pelt, and then we're gonna go inside and cook it. So everything on this cat is gonna be used, and all we're gonna do is just skin right up here. We'll ring around his legs. Then you can see the color line right here. That color line is what we're gonna try to follow going down. And this was a video about trapping. I'm gonna show some of the skinning, but more than anything, it was about catching that, this cat and what it took to do that. See how I'm holding this? I'm actually using my knife. This is a very specialized little knife that Brad Smith at Silver Stag made me. And I hold it just like a pen or a pencil and you can be very strategic with where you're cutting. Once you get to a little hang up, then you just... There you go. So I've come down both hams. Now I've got to the tail and I'm gonna get the tail and just try my best. Pull the tail just like that. Now, hopefully, I don't have it totally inside out. There you go. Now, all we're gonna do is just take all that hide off, just like you're taking off a pair of socks. Like I said before, this was a video about trapping. We got him, we're cleaning him, now we're gonna go cook him. See you in the kitchen. Well, I have double duty right now. I'm playing with Emma. She's over here having a, some kind of arts and crafts day while watching daddy film. And let me show you this. This is the hind quarter off of that bobcat. I was really, really amazed at how the meat is so dense and firm and well put together. The back straps were way bigger than I expected. And it's a perfect situation. That's the that's the bobcat pelt. We're gonna save that. I'm gonna have that tanned at Sebring Custom Tanning. We're gonna eat all the meat. The skull, I'm gonna have Euro mounted, so I'll have a really awesome skull mount. And Austin's uncle doesn't have a bobcat terrorizing his chickens, which means he can sell more eggs and send more money to the orphanage in India. And what I didn't know also is that Austin's other uncle actually built the orphanage in India during a missions trip. So some of you right now may be saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe that they would kill a bobcat. Well, guess what? Anything left unchecked just becomes a problem. 
The ones that are out in the woods, we don't have a problem with. The ones that are terrorizing the house and the, and the chickens, we got a problem with, and we're gonna eat the problem. Now, look how thick that back strap is. That's what I'm actually gonna cook right now. And this is the first time I will have ever eaten a bobcat. It's actually the first time I've ever cleaned a bobcat. I'm just gonna take some Everglades fish and chicken, put it on there like that, roll it around. And like, oh, that's a rainbow. Yep. It's so pretty. Amazing. I actually cooked in this pan last night. So it's got a little bit of seasoning in it. We're just gonna, this is a cast iron grill pan. I cook in those things all the time. Now this is no joke. To do a video like this is extremely hard. Extremely hard. But I think you guys are gonna appreciate it. If you liked this video, please drop a thumbs up. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. If we can get 50,000 likes, 50,000 is a lot, but hey, 50,000 likes, we're gonna go out, we're gonna try to ch catch another one, but we're gonna try to catch a really, really, really big one. And then I'm gonna let Austin go through and really skin it perfectly, and we'll show you that whole process even in more detail. <laughs> Every time you go trapping, it's a new adventure. You never know what you're gonna get, but 50,000 likes, and I guarantee you, we're going after it again. Boom. We've reached the finish line, y'all. I cooked it a little bit more well done than typically, just cause it's, yeah, there we go. It's got a really nice uh, smell to it. Just look at this in the light. That really looks nice. If, if you ask me, I would have said, ah, oh, it's a little hog. My first time eating bobcat. It's tough. So you can see there's all these muscles inside. It's like made up of several different muscles. And some of it's tender and some of it's tough. This is gonna be interesting. Em, here, try a bite. You just try a bite. See if it's any good. Well, it seems Emma's not gonna be trying Bobcat, but I will. It's got a tougher feel, it's a little gamey, but it's good. Mmm. What you think? I hope you guys enjoyed this. If so, there will be more. But that's all I got for you now. Take care, God bless. And we going. <laughs>